What's up, man? It's your boy, uh, Therapy Mace in the building. It's Therapy Day. What's today? It's only Monday. It's not Thursday. I was going to say Therapy Thursday, but I'll be lying to you. But uh, we're going to do therapy on Tuesdays and Thursdays because it start with a T. So we're going to do that from now on. But it's Monday and we starting today. So we're going to do another one tomorrow. But it ain't nothing because I'm always posting new videos. Uh, I'm about to start always posting new videos about health and stuff. So, you know, growing up in school, I wanted to be either a scientist or a health doctor. So today we're just going to have a little, you know, talk, five minute talk, four minute talk about, you know, setting boundaries, you know, with your family and all that. So like, uh, this is a little therapy for people who, you know, think that they could just cut people off in their life and just, you know, run away from situations like if your sister or your aunt ain't doing what you want them to do and then you think you could just cut them off and just, you know, go the other way. I got a pair, you know, I, I don't know what type of pair this is, but you know. I needed that. Okay, so setting boundaries is not emotionally cutting off. You can't equate setting boundaries to distancing or moving away from your family as cutting off. You can't equate the two. You know, one is running away, <coughs> away from a monster. And the other one is, you know, setting a boundary and learning how to say it in a nice way. Like, you know, I don't appreciate this and this is why type attitude. And a lot of chips to fall where they may. You know, you don't just run because it's like you're scared of the consequence of, you know, your decisions. That's not being an adult. Why is it a problem to emotionally cut someone off? Because when you emotionally cut someone off, right, it solidifies and, solid and it cementizes dysfunctional patterns within us we're all connected as people and we can't really you know just cut someone off like that you know Um, cutting someone off is fake independence. It's not real independence. I guess that's that's what I'm trying to say. Cutting someone off and setting boundaries are two different things. You cut people off in the wrong way. It could it could it could not be your best. You know, bet. Why is it so important that we eat fruits? It's so important that we eat fruits because um, instead of feeding your stomach, you should be feeding yourselves. Um, so you need hydration. Hydration occurs with fruits, berries, melons, vegetables, that's it. Hydration only occurs under those few few foods, so you know.
no proteins, no beans, no grains, no meats. Let's have a quick talk about blood pressure real fast. Okay, so when it comes to blood pressure, your diastolic, um, when you have an 80 diastolic, the 80 diastolic is too high. You want 60. 60 to 65 is perfect. That tells you you're right there that the right... Um, The goal, the, goal, the goal in all this is to have the kidneys filtering at all times. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I mean, when you pee in the jar, you see something. I think kidneys filtering when you got some type of problem or ailment. Water getting cold. I don't drink, I don't drink this type of water, so. I got a little distracted lately. Living life, figuring things out. But now I'm back. And now I'm back and I'm better. Um, just two days ago, I did a two and a half day fast. Dry fast, no no fruit, no water, no, no nothing, you know? No water at all, so. Feeling good, just gotta stay focused. Um, uh, anybody got any health conditions they want me to help them with or want me to, you know, teach them what to do, comment down below what you, what's, what's going on. I'll make a video about it and we can move on from there.